Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is talk about some crypto news regarding Tangium, a little bit of Meld, NVL, and Kopi. So I want this to be a crypto market update. So we're going to dive into the token prices as well. So if you guys get something out of this, smash the like button, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Um, so let's dive right into it. Today, we are October 6th of 2024. Um, so it's my opinion that we are about to hit all-time highs. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. And of course, the date's important because, guys, within a month, we have the U.S. elections. And whoever gets in there, if they're pro-crypto, that's going to be a big, big, big deal. All right, so let's take a look at the one year. What are we up here? 125%, let's call it. At least for crypto, we can round things up. Um, but it's looking like we're starting to maybe break out even on the one year. So um, guys, this could be the year where, you know, Mel begins to work, Cornucopias works, all these new projects that have been developing for the past three to five years, they finally have their opportunity because... Really, when these projects started down here in 2022, you know, it's been two years of, sure, it's gone up, but after that big crash, so we would look at it from, you know, 2021, the past three years, we've gone way down, now we're back to even, so it's been kind of difficult, okay? So that's Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum's doing well, 2,400. Um, all in all, Ethereum on the year, 50%, that's a big move for ETH, um, but again, Bitcoin's just kind of crushing it taking it taking everything by storm here um tether not depegging bnb doing all right cz is out of jail i believe <laughs> it's funny when you look at projects and you're like oh yeah the founder's out of jail things are good guys um so guys if you want to get loose man you got to subscribe to the moose man we're getting loose here solana this will be a big winner in my opinion up 500 percent on the year crazy um but definitely, in my opinion, going to break 800 bucks, coiling up for something big here. Um, right now, in my opinion, Solana is a big deal for the memes. It's a big deal for, you know, uh, fast transactions. Definitely a little more centralized. But again, the narratives with the, with the investments that are coming in, I think Solana is going to do well. A lot of people with a lot of money, they're just going to make it happen. So that's Solana right there for you. Um, USDC, we have another stable coin. I would like to see this on Cardano. Guys, comment down below if you agree. XRP, um, ready to be implemented with banks. Could work. I don't talk about XRP a lot on the channel. I just don't follow it a lot. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, you know, we'll, we'll find out. I remember when it was 40 cents, like four or five years ago, maybe even more. Um, Dogecoin, the winner. We're just going to be looking at the top 10. And Cardano. We got to show Cardano some love, even though it's not even in top 10. Dogecoin is doing well. Um, man, I bought this thing a long time ago, guys. I bought Dogecoin, what was it, 2017? Yeah, it was before anything ever happened. I got a little bit of Doge. No, it was maybe 2018 or 19. I got it before Elon did the tweets and it was nothing. And that will be forever be most likely my greatest gain. I should have bought more. Moose was broke at the time. Uh, still am. <laughs> uh, Ton. All right. Telegram. You know, could make moves. A lot going on. Another one, right? Like, you know, isn't isn't the Telegram dude arrested? Like, and now they're each bo. They're trying to bring out or trying to identify Satoshi. Apparently, they know who he is. Um, so who knows? I mean, guys, I'm I'm Satoshi, but they haven't even looked. They haven't even looked. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm not good at math. But I figured out Bitcoin. Tron. Um, Tron's been doing quite well. I've noticed because I use it a little bit. Um, I get some stables. Those are for my tangent rewards. So I get a little bit of, uh, what is it, Tron or USDT on Tron's network. So Tron's doing all right, man. Could be, could be a big winner. Cardano, 35 cents. So... This token, Cardano, has been, it's been, uh, you know, head's been underwater for a little while. Um, but once, once the bull market happens, 
it's my opinion it's going to do well. Um, you know, we got smart contracts, we've got Hydra, so we have more speed, more throughput, etc., more daps, more dexes, a lot going on there. Okay. So let's dive into tangent. We got some tangent news. So for those of you that don't know, um, I do have a link tree in, in that link tree, which you'll see right here, you guys can save 10% off using code moose. So follow the links. You can do it on a cell phone, on a desktop, laptop, use code moose. You can pick up a set of tangents. It's a cold storage wallet. I got it in my wallet fits right in here. And it is one of my favorite, uh, cold wallets. So also known as a hardware wallet and yeah, I'm just a big fan. So these things have been great and it all works with an app. So if you want to get the best hardware wallet, you can use a Trezor. If you're doing more, you know, MetaMask work, if you're connecting to dApps, doing yield farming, sure, use a Trezor. But if you only have a cell phone and if you want to make sure that you don't have a ton of Bitcoin, a ton of assets on a centralized exchange, get it on a tangent because then you own your seed phrase, not your keys, not your cheese. You guys know what's up. So that's tangent. Um, they have a bunch of new updates. So they have some cool interviews and they also have a roadmap update. Okay. So this roadmap is subject to change, but let's dive into it. I'm looking at it for the first time. So staking updates, guys, staking. I did a video on this. If you guys go to the channel, I did a tangent staking video. So I show you step-by-step step how to stake using cold storage. It's a beautiful thing. So guys, check out that video. I've got tons of tutorials, but look, we got Polygon, um, Polkadot, Ada, BNB, Ton, uh, potentially, <laughs> Near, and Kronos. You'll be able to stake using your tangent. So I like seeing that. Really cool. What else do we got here? We've got our tangent markets updates. So security score, um, available exchanges. So the number and list of exchanges where the coin is listed for Ethereum, newsfeed. And there was a recent post about... I believe it's Change Hero. Um, so they have even more providers. So you're going to get better prices on your swaps. So comment down below if you've been enjoying that as well. Man, Moose is getting loose. I actually got to go to an event there. I'm going to show up late. I'm going to show up in a five-piece suit. And I'm going to show up with like 10 hardware wallets. Nobody's even going to know what's, a, what's going on. Nobody even talks crypto at my family events. I don't like it. Uh, Wallet Connect. So updates, redesigned, user experience. So one inch wants to connect. So here you go. Support for non-EVM networks, transaction simulation. So I'm going to try to connect this with Meld and other um, dApps. But guys, it's all about software. Hardware is great, right? Hardware is the physical components of like a cell phone where you got more RAM. You have more storage space. You have faster speeds on the physical end. But with software, you can just update it by a click of a button. So, of course, you got to program it. But with better software, it can become 100 times better, whereas hardware is somewhat limited. So, not trying to be like Moose Jobs over here, but just letting you know what's going on. Transaction history updates. Easy to understand transactions, design, recognize common transaction types, additional visual um, visual information about the operation. So, really cool. I like that. Tangium Express and more native NFT support. So on select chain. So new feature. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to check this out. Is this all an update? Um, so yeah, definitely guys go to your app store and update your Tangium wallet. And that will be a way in which you could probably access these new features. Tangium Express. So here's an update. So you got on-ramp providers, three plus. You've got swap providers, one new simple swap additional. I like that. Uh, push notifications, so incoming transactions. I like that. Like, guys, I'm telling you, man, Tangem. The Moose is right about Tangem, man. Um, and guys, use code Moose for sure. Um, but, but just protect your assets in general. If you like a hardware wallet you're currently using, then use it. Uh, quick access button, so I like this. Um, perform transactions directly from the main screen with uh, convenient quick action buttons. I like that. I like that. So that's not something I notice. Really cool. Wow, there's a lot of updates here. So we got network releases. So more 
tokens are going to be integrated. More networks. Sui, Casper, Energy Web, Chili's, uh, Core. Um, wow, just a lot going on here. So we're going to have to dive more into this. They have a bunch of other videos. You guys have to follow Tangium. Get loose on that. I do like seeing that. And you can also get the limited edition. So is that under the moose link? Let's see here. Get Tangium. Let's see if we can get loose on that. There you go. So guys, save 10% off the stealth version. Basically, basically it has no logo and a little more inconspicuous there. So we got Tangium news, guys. A lot going on. We just went through it. Beautiful. Um, let's talk about, what should we talk about? Melb. Just because there's so much going on, I'm going to slide right through it here. So guys, long story short, Meld, it's your DeFi lending and borrowing protocol. They've now got support um, for, how should I put this? So the goal of, of uh, Meld is that you can do all your banking with crypto and fiat, and it supports the top six leading chains. Uh, Meld is also a layer one, so you got extremely low gas fees. It's fast and it's beautiful. So their app will potentially be released October 8th, which is in two days. So guys, Tuesday, lending and borrowing is coming out. So that's happening. They now support Beam, which is massive for AVAX and gaming. The node sales life. So guys, go to the link tree, news alert, boom. I don't even know what the title is video. This video is going to be Moose Gets Loose. He talks about everything in the crypto world. And he's late to a party. I got a party at four. We're filming right now at 4.09. Still got to upload. I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to miss it. I'm just going to miss it. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody's even going to talk crypto. So we got purchase $85. So first tier sold out. I've got tutorials, guys. If you want to pick up a node, I explain what they are, how they work, and the benefits of them in several different videos. So that's Meld. Guys, a lot going on with Meld like real soon. So um, that's what's going on with Meld. So now we got Kopi, a little bit of Kopi news. Basically, they have a bunch of sales coming. So this is your AAA level game. It's Cornucopia's game. Followers are improving. And again, Meld, um, very interoperable with different blockchains. Um, Cornucopia's, same thing. They have a token on BNB on several different chains. So you know, um, Ethereum base, they're working on node sales coming out soon. So jetpacks, um, and that's about it really. I mean, I think Kopi is the best web three game right now. It's fun. I like the way it looks. I've got tons of videos on it. Um, that's all I really want to get into with Kopi. Just be aware that there are mega sales coming very soon. So Nuvola, let's talk about Nuvola. You got to talk about the top projects the Moose is invested in. The big one here. By the way, Nuvola, a D-Pin Ag. Basically, they run node operations for companies, for businesses in the Web3 world. And they alleviate some of the stress. So you as an investor, you can pick up the NVL token, NVL. And what you can do is you can earn some of the rewards that their nodes earn um, passively. So... Nuvola does all the hardware software side of things and you just own Nuvola tokens and you earn, you know, a certain percentage of what they produce um, running nodes. So a really cool way if you're not into building computers, running nodes, you know, you could do that. Similarly to if you want to get exposure to a real estate investment, you could buy a REIT where you know, somebody manages properties and you own shares of the properties that they manage and you never have to step foot on a property, but you will earn some passive rewards. So obviously Nuvola is going to do well, but it's a great way for you to earn rewards passively. So a big thing is um, what they posted here. So there's a big storm brewing. Basically, they're announcing um, their own chain. So there was a video. I'm trying to find out where it is. But we will be going over this in a different video as well. So Raul, the node father, that's great. So Raul was talking about it, um, but basically they have their own uh, Vola network. So that's what we're going to talk about. Not even following them, so now we are. So Cardano's deep in aggregator partner chain. So basically this is going to be their own chain. It's going to help them out. 
with everything else in NVL as well going forward. So guys, what I want to do to end this video is thank you all. Um, we've been growing a lot here on the channel. So we've sold, by the time this video is out, we will be over 700 Tangem wallets. So that's incredible. I also like the fact, not only that the Moose is winning a little bit monetarily, um, you know, slightly, it's helping out. But the big thing is you're protecting your assets. So for those of you that, you know, tune in, you watch the channel, hopefully you're learning, you're getting updated, but you're also protecting yourself. It's one of the most important things. If you're going to win in crypto, if you're going to turn a thousand bucks into a million or thousand into 10,000, whatever it may be, um, you want to protect your crypto. So I like hearing that. And I'm always going to talk about Tangem as long as they fulfill on their promises and if they give power back to the individual. So that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.